Hi everyone, I'm your mistress of manifestations and welcome to my YouTube channel. Cheers. Hello Aries, how are you doing? Welcome to your second half of March reading. This is a general reading, not all the messages here are going to resonate with you Aries, but if it does, just claim it. On the other hand, if these messages confuse you, I want you to go and check where your other sign placements are and what are they? Where is your moon? Where is your rising? Where is your Venus? Google free birth chart calculator. Put in all your birth details. Find out where these placements are. And I guarantee you, I kid you not, you will get additional messages from all those other sign placements. Go to my channel, watch all those videos, okay? So I'm going to start by taking a few cards from Angel Answers just to see what this reading could be about. Ready, Aries? Aries. Oh, my Aries, please. Oh, my Aries. Oh, God, your cards. All right. Okay, Aries, let's see what we have. <clears throat> wow. First is ask your angels. You know, if some of you are, you know, when this, this comes out, ask your angels. There's something that y'all are struggling with. This is what I get. Because you know, it's like you're struggling with something. And your angels are asking you to ask them <laughs> because they're available to you. But you have free will, Aries. Use your free will to request their assistance. And trust me, they will never say no. Let's see what the other card is. Meditation brings answers. I think some of you are finding it difficult to go within. You know, this is very much like a Virgo card, going within. Or even the Four of Swords, taking a break, a pause. Or perhaps the Pisces card. You know, where you just suspend all activities towards a particular thing. Because you, you need to just find that quiet space within you, you know, and find your answers. And perhaps when you are in this state of meditation, please ask your angels and they will give you clear guidance, crystal clear guidance. My gosh, listen to your intuition. There is a lot here about, hold on. I can't believe this one card was under my mat. I'm just going to keep it. Listen to your intuition. This is so Pisces. You'll be dealing with a Pisces, huh, Aries. Listen to your intuition. Your, you could be having an organic opening of your third eye, your Ajna. Now, wait. I think there are some of you who are in a state of indecision. You do not know what you want to do. Wait. Communicate clearly ask your angels for help go within meditation brings you answers listen to your intuition and if any of you are having any health problems improving health i love this for you compromise i don't know you know aries you are uh, very headstrong <clears throat> you know that and that's all right that's your appetite Find that golden center, compromise. And you know, as you can see, she's holding uh, the scales of justice, perhaps if we're dealing with a Libra. So far, I see Pisces very strong here. I see Libra here, very strong so far. But these are just my angel answer cards. Now I'm going to take tarot. And today I'm going to be using my gilded tarot. This is by Ciro Marchetti to give you additional messages, all right? So remember, Aries, to apply this reading to you or to flip the roles. Apply this to the person or the situation you're thinking about when you come across this reading. Now, you ready, Aries? I am. I am. Okay, let's go. All right. Aries. My goodness. <clears throat> For my Aries, please. Okay. Cards are just popping. Literally, I mean, I, I... 
Look at all this mess here. Hold on. I don't know if you can see it on my table. Look at all the mess. Okay, Aries, let's go. So I'm going to start by move my camera back. Okay, Aries. Somebody here is in, has kept themselves tied up in something. I do not know what, but yes, there is a card of keeping yourself stuck. Okay, probably in a funk. Because when I see these two cards, all right, let me just put these cards because there are too many cards, my darlings, too many cards. And I think they're all saying a very, very beautiful story here. Aries, hold on. So as you can see, somebody is keeping themselves stuck, okay? Keeping themselves stuck. This is, this is creating a mental prison for yourself, it's eight of swords. It's a lot of stress, a lot of stress and indecision. Wait. Ask your angels. Are some of you holding back on making a decision? It seems to me that there is some energy of somebody not wanting to make a decision. Perhaps you know the things which are happening because see, when, when you have in both these cards, this individual has put a blindfold on their eyes as if they do not want to see the truth. And because they refuse to see the truth, they continue to stay in an energy of not knowing what to do. If they would take those, you know, those that, that blindfold off and see what the real situation is, that decision would be made just like that. This is a card of indecision, inaction, stalemate, dilemma, being afraid to make a decision. I think you're afraid to see something or you are afraid to see what is being shown to you. And from this two, it's gone to the eight. This is a huge, uh, what can I say, a progression. You know, I have a feeling, Aries, and comment below, let me know what you're going through, okay? You saw something, a mini transgression. You chose to ignore it. And you kept yourself stuck in a state of indecision. You know, I won't make a decision about it right now. It's okay. And then it grew and progressed to this. But today you feel trapped. You feel stuck in a situation. Now, this is not a nice feeling. As you can see, this individual is so anxious. There's anxiety going on here. Stress, overthinking, nightmares, sleeplessness. This person can't sleep. You have allowed this to grow from this, but you could have taken a decision right here, removing those, those that blindfold and just cutting something out with that sword, that sword of clarity, but you didn't. You allowed something to grow to this. And today you feel trapped. Now there has been a very, very painful ending here. When I see the three of swords, this is heartbreak, extreme emotional pain. Your heart is hurting. Imagine somebody putting a sword into your heart here. I mean, how much more painful can that, I mean, that, that's terrible. Who has broken your heart, Aries? Who has broken your heart? It's almost like somebody has taken something and just poked you at a, you know, at your, what can I say, has hit you where it's hurt the most. And then this number three is always about three people. I feel this. And then I have the three of cups. Now this can be reconciliation, going out and partying. Yeah. When it comes with this, there are three people here. What's that, that final sword? That, you know, you, you've been seeing the signs. I feel you have been ignoring the signs. You started off by seeing small transgressions that somebody was doing, Aries. But you just kept that blindfold on saying, you know what? It's okay. And then it's grown to this today. And I think you are in charge of allowing this to grow. I'm sorry. I'm just going to tell you the messages as I receive them. You've been the enabler for your own anxiety. And, 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 and discomfort. And you've allowed somebody to have a free hand. You've given somebody a free hand. There's been more than two people. That's you, your beloved, you, yours, and I don't know, theirs. There's been a heartbreak here. And you're, I can feel the pain. Now, I'll tell you who you guys could be. Now, you're dealing with the King of Wands. 
Now, this is a fire sign. This could be you. Just putting it out there. The king of wands is somebody who's so passionate. Look at him sitting there with that glyph of Mars. This is a, this is a fire sign, just like you. Aries, Leo, Sag, charisma, a politician, somebody who is electrifying. You know, they walk into a room and their aura extends for miles. People are drawn and attracted to them. This is so much a fire and passion. You know, and, they, and there's a lot of arrogance here. Too. This is somebody who knows their shit and they know their worth. I feel you have given this person, you know, you put them on that pedestal. And they, love, they, they, believe that they, they believe they belong on that pedestal too. And um, they have taken that position with great pride and honor. And they're dealing with somebody who is hella arrogant, very, very arrogant. And somebody who knows how good they are. Or is this somebody who's very, very competent? This is very, very martial, no? Somebody's not scared to show their desire. Perhaps they're very passionate, very hot and passionate in bed. Somebody who loves to take action. They could have an important position in society. I think something like a politician, a good speaker. They just go, they go after what they want. They have that courage. They have that fire. See that passion. See that, see them sitting and looking at something. And if they want something, they get it. They do not think twice. They just go after it. Now, now. I feel this queen of swords is you who has been forced to be in this situation today. I mean, in, in, this, in this energy today. You have not been like this with them before. You have been very sweet. And, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm going to take another card to see what your energy could be. But you have had to change to this. Now, this is somebody who's mean and bitter. Now, I'll give you another message I'm getting here. Is there a third person in this? Because I also have the nine of pentacles. While I can read this card as you being single today, I wonder if you are dealing, you're a single person, Aries, you're dealing with a king of wands, and there is this queen of swords in the background. Somebody who's very cold, calculative, cutting. You know, the sword that she uses is like a weapon, and her words can cut through flesh. She knows it. Rational, cold, detached. So also somebody who, you know, is a divorcee. Are you dealing with somebody who has an ex? I'm feeling this. You show, you, I feel, are showing up as this. Somebody who's single, ready to mingle. I love this card. Nine of Pentacles is somebody whose money is on point. Somebody who has created abundance in the 3D. And they're very happy being single. Are you being chased? by a king of wands because you look like a freaking jackpot there yeah? walking the streets aries look at you look at this woman look at the finery and the gold and the pentacle tree that she's standing next to hell why don't they make them in real life i would like one for myself what about you <laughs> look at her she has created abundance and i think you've got the eye of somebody important Somebody important, somebody who has got a good position. Um, like I said, there could be a politician, a good speaker, uh, somebody who, who is hella crazy after you. And like I said, the King of Wands is, of course, a tad bit arrogant. But when they want something, if they have set their sights on you, they're going to go after you. And I think you're being chased by this person. But why do I feel that they have... This that they're dealing with, a queen of swords, perhaps somebody who's a bit irrational, cold, calculated, rude, mean, you know, detached, and they have a child. Just putting this out there, this is the strongest message I'm getting, that there's somebody here who is already in a marriage, perhaps they have a child, but they have their eyes for you. Now, the second message I'm getting is you... For those the second group who did not know that the person you're dealing with was married, you are being forced to don this, this energy because you found out that they are married and they have a child. Now, this page of pentacles, now look at this. Pages are the youngest suits of the tarot. And this is a news, this is a card of good health. And remember, ask angel cards. Improving health. I want you to believe this, Aries, okay? 
This is a card of good health or good news coming about health. This is somebody who is a very, very diligent um, child, somebody who's very grounded, hardworking. Yeah, I think there is somebody here who's married with a child like this. Somebody has a child here. I feel this. It's also a card of good health. Don't forget that. I wonder, I wonder if some of you have been putting a lot of your investment, like you can see this card, Three of Pentacles. This is somebody who's working with their hands to create something. You know, it doesn't have to be just something that can be crafted. You could be crafting a relationship with your own bare hands, putting in all your time, your efforts, your feelings. You're creating something. You're working on something. You're collaborating. There's also a card of compromise. And you remember that. Compromise. I wonder if some of you are doing your best for a relationship and hoping that there is a compromise here. I'll give you another message. This is a couple. You could be a couple with a child. There's so many messages coming in, Aries. I'm going to give you as many as I can. Okay, this is a family where you've seen some signs, but you've chosen to not take any action. You've kept those that blindfold and, you know, ignored the small transgressions that somebody has been doing. And today you feel trapped, mainly, I think, because of a child, uh, because of a child. You've created a lot in the 3D, not just a home and business, but also a, a child, which is your legacy. And today you are on the path of getting a divorce because this is also a divorcee. And perhaps you are hoping for a compromise. And this is your card of being single. And you have found out something that has broken your heart. This three of swords. This three of cups okay, is more than two people in any situation. And you know what they say, two is company, three is always a crowd. How can you? And I, I know I'm this card of compromise that has come out twice in this reading. I wonder if, if this arrogant, you know, rhymes with custard, asked you to compromise on that and say, you know what, so what's the problem? Big deal. And that was what made you rip off that blindfold and take action. And I think you are showing up as a queen of swords and you're cutting somebody out with clarity. You're removing, first of all, you're removing that, that, that blindfold that you've been wearing and ignoring the red flags. You knew this person was up to no good. You knew it. But you gave them chance after chance. No more. Today, you are moving towards Freedom. I think you're single today, Ari. Comment below. Let me know if this is what you're going through, please. You're single today. Now, you look at all these cards, okay? Three of ones. You've expected. You have been expecting some growth in this relationship. Like I said, you were expecting something from this. You, you've worked hard at something. You've put, it's the physical creation. You know, it's like working at something. You wanted to collaborate in this relationship. You did. And you tried your best. I think you also compromised many times with their crap. Is this uh, king of wands, like I told you, is hella arrogant. You know, and you have compromised many a times, but this was not a compromise that you could do. This was not a compromise. And I think they were expecting you to compromise on that too. And you know, this three of wands for me, somebody who's been waiting. Have you been waiting for a long time for this person to, you know, pull up their socks and show up? You've been waiting for results. 
perhaps you've been waiting to see you know how this person would you know collaborate with you grow this beautiful marriage into something else but it didn't they just keep you waiting and i think you've been waiting and waiting and this this last nail in the coffin of this relationship was that three the three people that you found out i don't think you can you could compromise on that and you and, and this card for me is a card of somebody who's been so defensive yeah who's so defensive somebody who's standing and defending what see you have to defend only when you're bullshitting right now i feel i'll give you two messages here either this this king of wands has put up this wall you know and like you 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 can't break through it closed off wounded you know somebody who just shut the door oh this is you i wonder if you you know this is also a card of somebody who just doesn't trust you know very wary i wonder if this is how you've become today i'm getting a little bit of bitterness because even the queen of swords is somebody who's hella bitter you know somebody who is uh, it's an energy of a woman who's been hurt yeah and now she's like coming just swinging with that sword i mean are you are you a bit bitter after what you've gone through yeah i do not blame you aries but i just want you to know that this that being bitter or having this this wall put up around you is going to affect you perhaps that's why your health is being affected and maybe not just your physical health may maybe your mental health too because this is somebody who's standing guard you know expecting something i also give you another message you feel beaten and battered today you're exhausted because you've been defending this marriage you've been defending everything and you're tired you do not want to stay in this and you know this eight of swords is also somebody who feels trapped you feel wounded you feel trapped in this marriage and you've had enough you've really had enough you 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 have spent a lot of time crying on this as you can see this individual is obsessed with this loss because you had great hopes and expectations from this from this relationship you did not expect to come back to being single no you expected to grow from this maybe have another child to grow this relationship more but unfortunately everything took like you know a a turn and you're back to being single and a single mom at that i think this is stressing you out a bit perhaps even that could be a bit of this this feeling of being trapped Just putting this out there you're obsessed with the loss of this relationship here you're only focused on the cups that have been spilled but look behind you look behind you there's two cups still there i think one of them is self respect and the other one is the sweet hard working diligent child okay and i want you to know that you know the skies are clearing aries the skies are clearing don't be afraid and like i said your angels are available to you ask your angels communicate clearly what you want and they will guide you meditation brings answers okay and you're walking away i like this card for you from this i think you've been for a long time you've been in this energy of everything is lost you know this is a missed opportunity for me um i don't know what is going to happen in my life nothing is worth it anymore you've been in the dumps and has been very hard for you and i think some of you have suffered mental you know mental trauma and anguish because of this here you are my darlings walking away enough of being made the fool you're going to be the fool and take a leap of faith this is this is <laughs> this is your card there is somebody did try to make a fool of you i know this you're walking away i know that this big moon here you know the moon is all about your fears like i said you had a fear of if this relationship didn't work out what were you going to do you know what was out there for you this is a missed opportunity and hence perhaps you just kind of ignored the little transgressions they expected you to compromise on this one to which one them dealing with another person either they were dealing with somebody who's single i'll give you that too that was 
a transgression that you couldn't compromise on. You're walking away. I think getting a sense of you walking away with your dignity, with your pride, with your head held up high. Now you're walking away from conflict. Because I feel this individual that you've been dealing with is hella arrogant. I feel this energy. Somebody who's very rude, very rude, arrogant, 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 arrogant AF. And you felt like you've not even been heard here, Aries. I feel this. And, and this whole card for me, I like this card. This person is doesn't even know what they're doing next. This is a big reset, Aries. This is risk taking, and this is your card, Aries. This is your card. This is the beginning of a new cycle. You are just taking a stand to leave a situation that kept you feeling trapped. Spontaneity, you know, free spirit. It's a Uranian leap of faith. And I think your parachute is your angels and this little child of yours that you're taking with you that you're taking with you. Somebody here is leaving. And I love this card for you coming in. Dealing with the Libra. But there is somebody here who's going towards legalities. You know, even the Queen of Swords, you know, it's, it's to be legal things. Libra, Gemini, uh, Aquarius. We're going towards legalities and justice will be served. Cosmic scales of justice. Look at Look at this. Cosmic scales are here too. Justice is going to be served in this situation. Whatever has been done wrong will be set right. The scales of cosmic justice, karma, will be balanced in your favor. And if you are going towards a legal situation, don't worry. It will be fair and just as it should be. And I feel, I feel, the rulings will be in your favor. Now, I wonder if some of you are getting single. Just putting it out there. And another message I'm getting is they were dealing with somebody who was single, ready to mingle. You know, I'm also getting another message of uh, this individual, this this king of this uh, king of wands. You know. Like I said, there's somebody who has a position of power. I can't shake this message. Perhaps they're going after somebody at their work who's younger, um, who is single, you know. I don't know, secretary. I'm just putting this out there, huh, Aries? Please comment below. Let me know what you're going through, Aries. I would love to hear from you. I'm going to take some cards from my situation tarot. See what other messages I'm able to deliver to you. Okay, Aries? Ready? Let's go. Okay. Oh, my Aries, please. My Aries, please. Can you give me some messages? Hold on. Somebody here is taking a pause. It is a divine feminine. Somebody here is getting single, yeah. You know, this card of intervention for me, okay? Whenever this card comes out, I want you to know that your angels have intervened in this, okay? They've seen you suffer. They've seen you struggle. And your angels have intervened here. Now, I am talking to a divine feminine who is single today. Look at you. Look at how beautiful you are. I mean, it's almost similar what you're wearing, except for the colors. It's beautiful. Look, Aries, I want to tell you something. You are showing up as a jackpot. Don't stay stuck in situations that rob you of your self-respect. Don't bow down to people, okay? Who don't respect you. And I think you've been disrespected because somebody has been, you know, stepping out. The quintessential three of cups, three of swords. Somebody has been playing the field while they're supposed to be in a relationship with you. And you found out today you are single. You are single. You're taking a pause. 
taking a pause. You are sitting and thinking what you should do. And then, you know, this card, when these cards came out here, meditation brings answers. Ask your angels. This is you going within. Taking the time to understand what is going on with you and asking your angels for help to give you answers. And they will. They will. Because they know that they're seeing you suffer. They're seeing you suffer. Somebody here has, has, has you know, really suffered a lot. And I think it's it, it started off with, you know, mental anguish with this nine of, uh, with this eight of swords where you, with this eight of swords where you felt trapped and bound. And it's gone on to you having physical health problems too. And that's why the, the two cards have come out which say, good health is coming your way. Somebody here has kept up appearances. I'll give you two messages here. You have kept up appearances in a relationship. It could be a marriage or very, very serious relationship, but there's a child here. I know that. Because you did not want to rock the boat. You, you wanted, didn't want the community to, com, com, well, community to know that you're going through crap. You've kept up. You've so always painted a smile on their face. You've been living a fake life. And on the other hand, you could be dealing with somebody who's wearing a mask. You know, and I feel they have a position of power and authority in the society. They're well known. That's a facade. What they're doing behind all that is bullcrap. And I feel they are somebody who's so arrogant that they feel whatever they like, they're going to get. Doesn't matter. And this is the kind of person you're dealing with. And the, the mask that they wear is one of, uh, what's that word? Um, somebody who is not illustrious. Um, um, what's that word? Somebody who's important and, you know, um, very, very well known or a very highly intelligent and well, well to do. No, not well to do. Somebody who is respectful, who is honorable, not. That's the mask they're wearing. Okay. And you've known this. You know, I cannot get over this. You've known this. You've seen them doing many transgressions, but you chose to not take any action. This is your fault in some way. You've been enabling this individual. And I feel you've also put them on a pedestal. And they were very happy being there. Let me tell you this too. They were like, of course, I deserve this. Yeah. You know, I wonder if you found out something that they wrote about. This could be mails, um, emails, texts. Who is this? You know, I cannot shake off the message that, did you find out? that they had got somebody pregnant. I feel this, putting this out there. The next message I'm getting from this is you stayed trapped in this relationship or marriage because you had a child and you chose to keep yourself trapped because you said, how can I break free from this? I have a child. You know, your money, heartstrings. Uh, yeah, I understand. I understand, but no more because you couldn't take this. Or the second message I'm getting is you found out that they got somebody else pregnant. Feel this, Aries. Comment below. Let me know, please. I'll take a card or two more. I feel there's something else that is remaining for me to tell you. I don't know what. We'll see. Okay. Thank you. My Aries. My Aries. This was a marriage. This was a marriage. Okay. This was a marriage, and something has come to light. And I think what has come to light is three people. Heartbreak. And I'll tell you what else has come to light. I am sure that there is some information here that has come out about somebody else being pregnant by them. 
because you are in a marriage or some commitment with somebody. Okay. So long term, see, it could be a commitment like a marriage or a long term relationship. Yes. You're single today. You found out something came to light about somebody being pregnant outside your marriage. I'll just tell you, you walking away, where's that card? Let me show it to you. You walking away from this, okay? It's been very painful for you, very painful. And I think you've given them some chances to, and you've hoped that they would change, but they just kept you waiting. And you saw nada, no change. You're walking away. You know what you're going towards? You're ascending. You are ascending, ascension, spiritual path and awakening. You've been awakened. This realization and coming to light is not just about their bullshit and that you can't take it anymore. You've also realized that you need to get out of this and you need to remove that blindfold that you've kept, you know, purposely around your eyes, ignoring the crap that they've been doing. You've been ignoring it for too long, too long and you've given this person free reign to go about doing their bull crap. You're realizing that it's time for you to ascend to a higher level. And you know who you're bringing in? I'll show you. Unconditional love. Spiritual soul contract. This is what is coming for you. insatiable, unquenchable, wanting more. You couldn't be with somebody who's going to want you every second of every single day. I'm okay with that. But you've been in a funk over this marriage, this relationship, because it's it's been, it's been it's terrible. I feel your, I feel the pain, Aries. You've not been able to shake it off. The disillusionment and the disappointment. This is coming for you, my darlings. A beautiful soul contract, spiritual union with someone. You're ascending. You know, there's also a card of walking away, right? But what you think is, you know, you walking away. Look, you're ascending into the next level, Aries. The next Somebody took you for a fool, no more. You are going to take a leap of faith into your glorious future. You're ascending. And I think you're also going to have a you know, gentle, organic opening of your third eye. Please trust your intuition. Now, this card for me, when this card comes out, you know, you're walking away. I think some of you could be leaving as in driving, you know, a short distance away from the town, the city. And if if there is something about work that is there. I'll give you two messages here. There could be a small offer for work where you're going for an interview and you're expecting, you know, I hope this works out. It will. Because when, you know, as you can see, this little page here has come, this little, with this huge pentacle in his hand, the page is small. But the pentacle is huge. This offer may be small, but it has the potential to grow. If there's a job or an interview that you are giving, expect it to be very, very successful. Because when that little peacock stands up, and spreads that plumage, you will see how big this potential is. So if any of you are moving because of work, you know, you're leaving that town to get away from the memories, you know, finding another job, it's going to be extremely fruitful for you, Aries. Now, I'm going to take some kippers on this to see what kipper can add. Now, kipper could add something totally different or could build on the messages so far. Hi, kipper. What, why are these cards like this? Okay, you know, I'll show you something. The whole deck is like this. These cards were like this. I'm just going to take this. I, I have no idea. Let me show you what Kipper has to say. This is a marriage. I'm talking to somebody in a committed relationship. Yeah, that's one. 
there's three of cups that is there, but I feel there is another individual. Uh, let me show you all those cards because they're going to keep repeating. That's the beauty of tarot, right? It's like your spirit guys telling you, hey, I told you once. I'm telling you twice. I'm telling you the third time. You're showing up as somebody who is a freaking jackpot. Divine feminine is single and ready. The divine feminine is single and ready, looking beautiful and on point. And the second message I'm getting from this is perhaps they were dealing in this three of cups situation as in, you know, that extramarital crap with somebody who is, you know, a young female. And I think this is at work. I feel this. Somebody at work that they're dealing with. And you found out. Now, of course, this has led to this energy of despair. You know, doom and gloom, despair, thoughts of everything going wrong and nothing is going to work for you. This is the end of everything. There is what, what is the point of any of going on? Despair. Just despair. You spent many nights crying. Almost feeling hopeless. It's taken a lot of courage, Aries, for you to stand up on your feet again and take a decision. I have a feeling you, and if you haven't done it, I think you will. But this is the message I'm getting. Somebody has been in a state of despair because you found out about what? Where is that? Where is Bozo gone? Uh-huh. False person. Ah, la, la. They are fake. They have pretend they have been pretending to be all that honorable, respectful father. I have the, the bullshit. Look at them. They're dealing with other people. And I think you've kept up threatened appearances. You've known that they're false, but you've just kept up appearances. But this was something that you just couldn't take. There is there are legalities here. And somebody is sick. You know, and there's also a card, this malady card in the Kipper is also at bed pleasure because there's a bed here, you know. You've got them sleeping with somebody and somebody younger. I cannot shake this off. And this has given you problems. You've perhaps had health problems. So again, I'm so happy to see those cards of good health. Somebody has been sick, mentally tortured and sick and physically too. You are going towards some kind of adjudication. This is like a couple standing in front of the judge. Justice is going to be served. Justice is going to be served, Aries. Do not worry. Now, I'm going to take um, some nature's whispers cards to give you an additional message to see if uh, I can give you anything else, my darlings, so, to help you. Okay, Aries. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing this video. Aries, comment below. Let me know what you're going through. I want to hear from you, okay? Here we go. Potential getaway. You know, this is a fool. Where is my, where's my little fool? There he is. That's you. This is your escape route. Jump. Take that leap of faith. Yeah, you know, the portal is opening for you. Potential gateway. Let love be your beacon. Let, let love guide you this time, Aries. You allowed society and the pressures and being married and really all, no. Let love be your beacon. And as you can see, this woman is sitting with that lamp. I want you to go within. You know, it's asked you to meditate because meditation will bring you answers. Take that lamp like the Virgo energy, the hermit, and go within and seek your answers. And you will know. But once you go back to center, to your heart, everything is easy. Listen to your heart. You're going towards hope and happiness, Aries. I love this. I love it. Hope and happiness is going to be restored for a long time. You've not had any of these. My darling Aries, comment below. Let me know what you're going through. 
With this, I'd like to close. I cannot wait to come back, Aries, and do another reading for you. But until then, I'm going to say goodbye. I love you. And namaste. Bye.